Since the early 1990s, China has been designating so-called new areas or districts as special economic development zones to serve as international hubs and boost economic cooperation with regional neighbors. Our Pak Jiwon visited one of the new areas in Dalian City and follows this report. China's State Council has so far approved 14 national-level new areas designated to encourage and attract new developments, especially foreign direct investment with their advanced infrastructure and simplified regulations. In Jinpu New Area, located in Dalian, is the 10th national new district. It was approved in June of last year and is the only such new area in northeast China. The special economic zone, covering about 2,300 square kilometers, particularly aims to position itself as an international shipping and logistics center in northeast Asia. Its geographical advantage of having close access to major cities like Beijing, Seoul and Tokyo, and its ice-free port, which is the largest international trade port in northern China, all benefit the successful operation of the area. More than 20,000 businesses, including 75 companies from Fortune Global 500 corporations, like major South Korean companies Hyundai and POSCO, are operating in Jinpu. A number of functional zones exist in this area, and one of them is the China-South Korea Trade and Cooperation Experimental Zone. Established in May, the zone puts a special emphasis on cross-border e-commerce with South Korea, and currently about 100 South Korean companies are either already settled in the zone or planning to come to the site to run their overseas businesses. We are trying to set up an e-commerce system by inviting a number of South Korea's small and medium-sized companies so that Chinese and Russians can easily buy Korean products. With China's Ministry of Commerce expecting the average annual growth of e-commerce to reach over 30 percent, the area is key to provide big potential for China's future growth and more economic cooperation with neighboring countries like South Korea and Japan. Park Ji-won, Arirang News, Dalian.